Hello, friend. This is Pastor J. Abraham Francois. Welcome to our second week of presentations. I'm very happy to be with you today. Yet I know we live in a shattered world, a place where we are so easily stressed and we don't know what to do about it. You know, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 34, addresses the, the subject. It says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own, doesn't it? Today has enough problems of its own. And yet, very often, we are led into thinking about tomorrow and the day after and next year and the problems that they bring. Hey, friend, let Jesus deal with it. We, we don't know about tomorrow. We don't know what's going to happen. Why worry about a day that perhaps we may not even live to see? You know, in the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Yes, friend, take it to the Lord in prayer. Uh, the wife of a favorite pastor of mine once said, you know, one of our problems is that we are aware that we need to take our problems to Jesus, take it to the cross of Calvary. But when we do that, we take it to the cross, we lay it at the foot of the cross. But when we leave, we pick it up and go back with it. Our friend, leave it with Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 verse 27 says, And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life. We just can't. No matter how much we worry, no matter how much we think, no matter how smart you are, whether you went to Harvard or wherever you went to, you can't add life to the span of life that you've got. Only God can make that determination. Therefore, I want to suggest to you that today, and every day, don't be overly anxious about anything. Finally today, I want to add 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, which says, Cast in all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Yes, friend, he wants you to bring all your anxiety, all your stress, all your trouble, all your problems, bring it to Jesus because he can take care of it for you. Would you do that today? Because he loves you so. If you would, would you pray with me, Father? In Jesus' name, take care of your people as they come to you. Draw them close to your heart and fix theirs for heaven and home. For we pray these things worthy name of Jesus and for his sake and we all say